All right. Hey, greeting guys. It, greetings. It is uh, Gleekon here again with another episode of Lore of Warcraft as we continue along um, with the Chronicles. Um, okay, so we left off with the Sentinels and we're kind of still in the aftermath of what happened right as the fallout of the War of the Ancients. This one's called the War of the Seder, which we allu alluded to last episode and a few other times. This is 9,300 years before the Dark Portal, if memory serves. That means it's been about 100 years since the Sentinels have been founded, um, I believe. Okay, so stay a while and listen to this episode of Lore of Warcraft. Initially, the Night Elves suffered terrible losses from the Satyr's assaults, yet the tide of battle soon changed when Tyrande's adopted daughter the captain of the sentinel, Chandra's Feathermoon, proposed a new strategy to fight the demons. She suggested that the druids be called from their sojourns in the Emerald Dream so they could be used as a fighting force. Upon seeing how Zalan had corrupted the Night Elves' forests, Alfurion agreed to Chandra's request and summoned the most powerful druids of Kalimdor to his side. Uh, the most powerful Night Elf druids or all of them? Because technically, I think um, the Tauren... Also, but maybe they haven't maybe they haven't gotten druid magic yet. As one, the druids and sentinels struck into the heart of Seder territory. Chandras's brilliant guerrilla maneuvers led the night elves to overcome many of their enemies, including Zalan himself. And Zalan wasn't mentioned in, in our trilogy. But while the night elves made gains in the war, a new threat emerged from within their ranks: a group of wayward druids seeking to harness the fury of the wild god Goldrin had adopted savage wolf forms. Led by Ralar or Raylar? Ralair? Let's say Ralar. Ralar Fangfire, these druids became known as Worgen. Ralar and his ferocious companions were slaves to their own rage and they tore through friend and foe alike amid battle. Night elves bitten by the wolf beasts contracted a virulent curse that transformed them into worgen as well. So now we have the birth of the worgen race, though. So they are originally night elves, not humans, um, as I previously have mentioned. That's interesting. Although the worgen race that exists now are humans. So that's interesting. The Worgen catastrophe forced Malfurion to reflect on the state of Druidism. Without some form of regulation, he concluded that individuals like Ralar would inevitably go too far in their application of Druidic power. Malfurion and his followers therefore created the Cenarian Circle, a harmonious order that would guide and keep watch over the world's Druids and their practices. The Cenarian Circle's first great task was to deal with the Worgen threat. Seeing no other recourse, Malfurion reluctantly banished Ralar and his worgen to the Emerald Dream. There, Malfurion believed that they would enter a peaceful, eternal slumber beneath the enchanted tree known as Duralnir. <clears throat> After the worgen's banishment, any hope the satyrs had of achieving victory was lost. The night elves cut deep into their enemy's domain until most of the forests had been cleansed of corruption. The few remaining satyrs retreated into the shadows. Never again would they pose so great a threat to Night Elf society. Yeah, and they're just sort of like minor players ever since. They exist, they're evil, but that's about it. I am curious to see how this Worgen thing evolves into the state that we have, but but that's it. The Worgen were one of the... The orcs have not been mentioned at all, um, and technically the goblins haven't been either. Uh, but yeah, we're now there's very few races we haven't mentioned. Okay, um, we got another episode in the pipes five by five. Oh, wait a minute, here we go. There's a cool picture. We look, we can see some satyrs, they actually look jacked. Those are some buff satyrs, um, and they are fighting the worgen. And there are night elves in the background as well. So you've got these. Druids that enter wolf form. I, that's actually awesome. My main is a worgen. Um, I like them a lot. They are a cool race. I think this is a, a neat, the night elf worgen hybrid. That's also pretty neat. Okay. Um, so 
Satyrs finally banished to the sidelines. Um, the Cenarian Circle is established, and the Worgen race is is seated onto Azeroth. Okay, now there's a, that's another episode in the pipes five by five, and I will see you guys on the next episode of Lore of Warcraft. Thank you so much, as always.